What's up guys, Alicia Storm back at it again with another video. Now for today's video, we got a little story time. And judging from the thumbnail and title of this video, I'm pretty sure you think it's nasty. And don't get me wrong, it is pretty nasty, but it's probably not what you guys think. So go ahead and get your mind out of the gutter, like the video, drop a comment at the very end of the video if you enjoyed it, and have an awesome day. Deuces. All right, so the story begins a weekend before school. And this part is pretty important because it basically plays a role throughout this whole story now this weekend I don't know what I was doing but I remember I got my finger smashed by a metal door hinge I was basically horsing around and put my finger where it shouldn't be and the door closed on my finger now it didn't close on the whole thing it just closed on the tip of my finger and basically pinched the shit out of it and when I say pinch the shit out of it it's an understatement guys my pointing finger basically turned into like a huge blister and it had this huge sack of skin on top of it where it got pinched and basically inside of that was a lot of blood and pus because it got squished on the inside and I guess ruptured some blood cells I don't know it, it fucking ruptured I had some internal bleeding on my finger basically and it was all stuck in this little sack and it hurt like hell even my finger was purple it looked super nasty and I basically had to clean it up you know um, and I wrapped a band-aid around it I never punctured the actual like blood bag that it had because you know it wasn't about that life fuck that and yeah I basically put a band-aid on it and went on about my whole weekend now Monday arrives and I have to go back to school and I have um, this thing called morning detention you basically get it when you get in trouble and they give it to you but this is actually one of the more chiller detentions because in in morning detention you basically just have to go to school an hour early and sit in the little cafeteria and basically you can talk amongst your friends if you have any there also in detention as long as you kept your voice down so yeah I arrived to school an hour early and I get to detention I'm ready to go and then one of my friends walks in and I was actually pretty excited because I was like all right cool I actually have someone to talk to now um, so yeah again we're allowed to talk so she whipped over a table or whipped over a chair at my table and we started talking now again you kind of have to sit close because they want Wanted us to keep our voices down we were still kind of in trouble but I don't know they were really nonchalant about everything so yeah she whipped the chair next to me and we basically started talking about her weekend she told me about her weekend I have no idea what the hell she said uh, now that I think about it, I can't remember a goddamn thing but I told her about my weekend because I had a really cool story about how my finger got pinched so yeah I basically give her the whole rundown tell her how my finger got pinched and how disgusting it was basically talked up my finger a lot so because I really wanted her to ask to see it so lo and behold after me talking it up for about five 10 minutes she was like can I see your finger and I was like of course so I whip out my finger I take the band-aid off that I had wrapped around it for the weekend and oh my god I revealed the, the blood bag that was originally there when I got pinched but it got so much nastier my finger was purple almost looked a little green on top of the blood bag the actual blood that was sitting inside of my finger on the blister part looked like some black venom shit guys it did not look like blood anymore like must have coagulated basically coagulated is when oxygen hits your blood or some shit and it turns like a dark black purple but basically that's what happened to my finger it looked nasty and it had little spots of white which I'm assuming was pus of some sort so yeah I was showing my finger and I basically love showing people especially girls like injuries that I have and stuff because they give the best reactions and I was hoping for a reaction when I showed her my finger and yeah she did she gave me a pretty like good reaction she was like oh my god she was like oh you poor thing that looks horrible so yeah she was just looking at it in disgust and basically kind of admiring my whole little blood bag pinch alien finger thing that I had going on so like I said before guys I like getting reactions out of people and I already had showed her my finger and she gave me a nice little reaction but I wanted to you know up the ante a little bit all right so I looked over to the left and she has her backpack on the table and she has all these little buttons that she kind of put on her backpack and they're held in with like a little needle it's basically a needle and you push it through the thread of the backpack and you can like place a button there so I take off one of her buttons and I had this amazing idea of hey you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna poke my blister so that she can see the blood ooze out and let's see if I can get even a crazy reaction so yeah she sees me taking the button she's like what are you doing I basically tell her what I'm gonna do I said I'm gonna poke this and see if I can get a little blood out and she was like ew I'm like come on I want to like take out some of this black stuff and see if um, it, it'll go down like with the swelling and stuff and she's a little intrigued she lets it happen I take her button and I start poking it and I'm doing it slow because again I want to see her reaction and the more I'm doing it the more she's freaking out it's great she's just like cringing at every step of the way as the needle goes deeper and deeper now my blister had gotten a little hard and I guess it takes a little more like oomph to actually get the needle through because I was really pressing in it and it, it, it just wasn't working I don't know what but out of nowhere I give it just enough pressure and the needle goes into the blood bag it 
it hurts. I'm like, oh, and as I do that, I don't know if there was a lot of pressure on my finger or something, but that motherfucker ruptured, guys. And when I say ruptured, it was like a little mini C4 explosion. It just like, pow. And it was just like, boom. And basically, as it ruptured, all that nasty black venom, blood, green pus shit that was in my finger shot out across the table. And now, remember guys, I said we had to keep it down, so we sat pretty close to each other, okay guys? And that just means that this didn't have to travel far to get anywhere near her. Now, I thought maybe it's gonna land on the table. Maybe it's gonna land on her shirt. Maybe it's gonna land on her jacket or her backpack, anything. But no, it shot across the room in slow motion, I mind you. This happened in slow motion the way I saw it. It shot across the table and landed on her lip. And as it's landing on her lip, her lip goes in and she gets a full on black blood, alien finger, pus, ass, nasty ass finger juice in her lip. And she freaks the fuck out. You know, I mean, I'd freak out too if I got someone else's nasty blood on my lip. But yeah, she freaks out. She's like, oh my God, I'm so disgusted. She starts gagging a little bit. She starts freaking out. I don't know how to explain it, guys. Let's see if I can put like a gif of someone like freaking out. You can basically kind of imagine her freaking out. But yeah, basically she freaked the fuck out and was like, not screaming, but just like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe, oh, oh. And then she started gagging a little bit. And because of this, um, the detention lady that was there got mad at us because we were now being too loud and they basically separated us and Yeah, we weren't allowed to talk anymore after this and as I'm like sitting across the room I'm looking over at her and she's just like takes out her little makeup like little mirror that they have and she's just wiping the shit out of her lip like oh my god oh. And then she asked to go to the restroom She basically goes to the restroom like rinses her mouth out comes back and it's just like kind of glaring at me from across the table and of course i'm a little asshole guys i'm laughing my ass off this is perfect this went like crazier than i could have even imagined i thought it was just gonna ooze out and like freak her out but this shit shot across the goddamn table and landed in her mouth so that was a w for me again i do feel horrible putting blood in her mouth but it was a crazy chain of reactions and i didn't mean for it to happen and we were Pretty cool, even after that. I had a really cool story to tell everybody. And I actually knew her boyfriend at the time, and we were pretty cool friends. And I basically told him how I put my blood in your girlfriend's mouth on accident, bruh. And he was like, wait, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, bro, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, that was the pretty much the whole story. She freaked out, but she didn't hold anything against me. And it was just a pretty funny story I thought I would share with y'all. Because recently, I pinched my finger again. Not as bad as before, but goddamn, does it hurt. And it basically brought this memory back, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the story time. I hope you guys drop a comment because I love reading comments. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, guys. We're currently at 1500. We want to get to 1600. That'd be super sick. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Deuce.